and you make the, the very good point that actually when people decide to dip their toe into bonds, the, the hurdle to getting into bonds is lower than the hurdle uh, for the appetite for getting back into equities. Just expand on that a little bit for our viewers as well. I think you're making a very good point, sir. Sure. I, I think that there are two aspects to this. The first one is that, of course, now rates, yields are higher. So for the medium to long term investor, this is actually good news. We have been receiving to some extent the, the complaint from investors for many years. I remember that uh, before COVID that they didn't really know what to do with bonds because here it's well too low and they couldn't really use fixed income securities in order to sustain their, their consumptions and to use the coupon coming out of those. Now the situation is a bit different. So of course there is more scope for having government bonds and corporate bonds in the portfolios for the medium to long term. But also for the shorter term, uh, my point is that to some extent, everyone is looking a little bit for when uh, inflation might peak and when markets would finally realize that maybe central banks would start pivoting a little bit their monetary policy. Of course, financial markets react before central banks react, given their expectations. Now, the hurdle for fixed income is much lower because they're just looking for a rehearsal in that monetary policy and potentially lower growth. The harder for equities is higher because they're looking for that change in monetary policy. So for things to be look better from an inflationary uh, standpoint, an inflation standpoint, but equally um, investors are looking in order to move back to, to equities and to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit less risk averse to look for growth, in particular to look at earnings uh, uh, announcements. So that, that's the reasons for being a little bit more bullish in terms of looking for that moment where the wind will slightly change. I don't think we're quite there yet, but once the wind changes a little bit, that adjustment in fixed income will happen and will happen very fast. And that is likely to happen first in bonds and having positive repercussions on the fixed income markets before equities, because equities okay. need a little bit more in terms of uh, expectations for the very long term about sustainability and about future growth and earnings. Uh, that all makes total sense, Julio. So to just, okay, you are head of portfolio construction. So if you were creating a new portfolio from scratch today, or our viewers who are looking to do that, you're going into bonds first. And when do we start looking at equities? When we get the confidence we know about the earnings or we just hold off on equities or do we start dipping our toe now? Well, it's always good to have a balanced portfolio. This is, this is our view. So. Here we're talking about tilting and about also changing slightly the asset allocation, depending also on what the risk reversions and the different objectives of an investor might be. But generally speaking, uh, we're looking at equities in, uh, we can look at equities in more positive terms, for instance, for Europe, but again, for the medium to long term, valuations are quite low. Uh, of course, this takes into account the fact that there is a lot of uncertainty associated with equities, in particular with European equities. There have been positive changes uh, from uh, a gas perspective in the European market. A lot has been done to be less uh, dependent on Rush, uh, Russian, uh, Russian gases, for instance. But the news that are coming, for instance, from the OPEC are not that encouraging from a directional standpoint. So I think we're still going to have some uncertainty and some turmoil in European uh, in European equities, uh, which is why over the very short term we're looking at more positive U.S. equities. And again, here we're really talking about tilting. So I wouldn't move away from equities, generally speaking. It's just the situations that, as we stand, we haven't seen yet the type of news that would be so encouraging for uh, for investors to be extremely bullish at this moment in time about equities for the short term.